Hi everybody, I hope you're well, and what I thought we'd do today is just run through the Merch Wizard and Orbit Kit integration and show you how easy it is to set up and how powerful it is as well. I think it's useful to remind ourselves of what Orbit Kit is and uh, how how that's going to help us in our pod journeys. So we've uh, got our Merch by Amazon accounts, obviously we've got our products that are on there, our designs on there. We've Personally, I've got 368 live products at the moment, and what we're doing when we've integrated with OrbitKit is, as this graphic kind of demonstrates, we're taking our designs that we've got on Merch by Amazon, extracting them using Merch Wizard out to Airtable, and pushing them through to OrbitKit through Merch Wizard. And then OrbitKit, once you've set it up with these different accounts, um, of these different venues as they are termed in OrbitKit, you'll be able to push those designs out to each venue quickly and easily using something that they call a blueprint, which is basically a template. So uh, let's have a look at what my OrbitKit dashboard looks like, and you can get an idea of what we're doing taking these products from here and pushing them out into OrbitKit. So I've got now my designs are in my designs folder in here, and uh, this dashboard then displays as how far those designs have got on each of these different venues all right so we can see on cafe press all these are ready and we've got i think starting off with 364 uh, for each of them some of them uh, broken some are waiting to upload i uh, just set up the teespring one recently so that's still uh, waiting to go up but you can see even from here um, that i've got what's this now six print on demand platforms set up and my 364 designs have been scaled out, you know, uh, to 1785 live designs, if you like, up there. And then within that, they're scaled out on each pod onto different things. So on Redbubble, we've got 357 live designs, but they're scaled out onto t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and everything like that. So it really is kind of exponential, and you're taking your stuff that you've already got in Merch by Amazon or your listing data and designs and you're simply reusing that, repurposing that and pushing that out across all these different pods. So it's uh, fantastically efficient and very exciting. So if we look at one of these pods and let's take Redbubble, you can see all the designs that have gone out to there. So once they're actually out on a, a venue, uh, they're termed as exhibits. So let's have a look at one of these beer shirts. So this is live Redbubble shirt that you can buy today. So there's our design. Um, it's also available on a lot of other products that are there on Redbubble. We didn't have to do anything apart from a one-time setup of our blueprint, our recipe for that. So that's good. So that you can look at it that way, where you can come from your dashboard and see which ones are ready. You can also uh, look at it another way and say we click on an individual design. You can then scroll down here and see whereabouts that is live. Um, so we can take a look at these ones. And yeah, it's obviously hopefully, hopefully you guys are getting this uh, message that it's very powerful in that you've got your one design and it's not only going out to well an array of pods, but it's going out to an array of products on those pods as well. So you've got all these different products that are available and for people to buy your design on a spreadsheet and the same on cafe press etc etc so that's really good and we're just repurposing design that you've got in merch and you your kind of listing data as well so your title your description and your tags as well so orbit could have got a really good help center here they've got a number of collections of articles and within the articles they've got videos as well as text and screenshots um, I would suggest that people start off by familiarizing themselves with the terminology. So they've got a list of things here and just describes what you're looking at when you're looking at the different items on the left hand menu. There's a video as well explaining that and I think that will kind of demystify um, Orbitkit a lot. Um, it is simple when you get up and running. The most difficult part to get set up is the blueprints and uh, once you've set them up once for each platform, uh, you're away and you don't have to, to worry about doing it again. 
and yeah they've got different integration notes for each of the pods that they support i know they're adding pods all the time but they will have uh, some text descriptions some tips and things like that for each of these uh, the, the pods so take a look at those before you set off adding your blueprints in case there's anything specific that you need to know and be aware of okay so let's have a look at our merch wizard air table base and see how we're going to get our designs and listing data from here into orbit kit i think the first thing to say is uh, we've added a couple of keyword fields here some lookups based on an additional table a niches tab so if you started off on merch wizard 2. Point something so 2.2 you probably don't well you won't have these niche keywords and final keywords uh, columns here until uh, unless you've added them uh, by upgrading your base so your base might look like this um, so it will just have your usual fields in it for your title brand and all those um, and then it's got your png your niche and your tags now you don't have to add the of a table and you don't have to add these formulas to, to add the, the new fields but it'll be beneficial to do so and there's a separate video that shows the benefits of it and uh, how all this is put together and as well as that there's a knowledge base article so if you've not seen our knowledge base this is it go check it out and it's got a whole section on upgrading your starter base to the latest version and just walks you through the different sections and um, it's it's really detailed and I know a lot of people have done it successfully and it's just talks you through things you can copy and paste into it um, into your own air table so that's good and then you'll end up with something like this this is actually a copy of the current starter base and you'll have a niches table with different niches that you can populate and put your own niches in there we have a concept of a, a parent niche and we're saying for BMX it's cycling, for rugby it's sports and the keywords, there's a formula that basically looks up the any parent niche and the child niche inherits the keywords of that parent so for rugby we've got these keywords here and you see them at the front because they're more specific um, but the parent niche the keywords are appended at the end as well here and so then if we use our rugby niche in here in our listings table it's going to bring in all the keywords that come from the niche that we've just set up uh, through the niche keywords table and then you can add your own tags on here as well and you can make them you can bring in multiple niches so it's really good for auto generating these keywords and these keywords are, are going to be transmitted over to orbitkit as well so if you don't do this it's fine you can just populate the tags you know um, in here and you can say this is my my t-shirt and um, put in your keywords in there uh, you don't have to do this but we recommend that you do and um, you'll be able to then use that information uh, in the future for other pods and uh, for other purposes so you're going to need to set up an orbitkit account so you can start pushing your designs and listing data from merch wizard to orbitkit and uh, we've persuaded orbitkit to give merch wizard users a fantastic discount for your first month on the platform and you've got two options within that as well uh, but you're going to need to click through from our link to, to be able to qualify for those offers so the two options that you've got are the orbit kit starter plan which is just five dollars for your first month and then it reverts back to the regular 35 dollars a month and that will basically allow you to push out five designs per platform per day uh, if you really want to turbocharge your uh, and get your your designs up on all the different pod products sooner rather than later then you can trial out the pro plan which is basically twenty dollars for your first month and then reverts back to ninety five dollars a month after that and that allows you to push up four times the amount as uh, as the starter plan does so that's going to be 20 designs per platform per day for the pro plan so now that we've got our robot kit account set up i suggest that first of all you start using it manually and you just create some venues and upload some designs create an archetype and see how it all fits together 
and then the integration will make more sense when you start pushing things through to it. Alternatively, you can just push all your things through into your designs um, without affecting anything. They're not going to automatically upload anywhere or do anything. But I would just suggest you familiarize yourself with the platform first by going to venues and blueprints, adding a venue um, and setting up an account on there, setting up a, a blueprint, making sure it all works, and then going ahead and doing a, a big batch import of your designs through Merch Wizard. So in order to set up the integration between Merch Wizard and OrbitKit, what we need to do is just go to the settings screen on your OrbitKit account. You'll get an API key section here with a secret key that you need to just click this eye icon to reveal. And then you can use the copy key to clipboard to actually copy that out to clipboard. And we're going to basically paste that into our Merch Wizard setting screen and, uh, and link the two up. So uh, just before I open Merch Wizard, I'll flick this on uh, to our Airtable base and go on to the setting screen. Right, I'm going to come down to Orbit Kit Options here and paste in our Orbit Kit API key. That's going to allow you to push your listings and your PNGs from your Airtable base through to your Orbit Kit account. And uh, there's a couple of extra options here that we may as well run through quickly whilst we're in here and explain what they do. So the first one here is whether um, we want to overwrite our orbit kit text and tags if we've already pushed a design through previously so if we've already pushed one of these and um, we're saying if we push it again if we've updated anything in here um, are we, do we want it to overwrite it or do we just want to leave it as it is um, in orbit kit so there's an option on here that you can toggle on or off and then we have a couple of controls down here to do with the actual text itself so we have a box here that says if you find any of these words in here, in our uh, description and our title, then I want you to remove them. So we're basically trying to get rid of the long sleeve derivatives here. And these are all default. You get these as default, but you can add another one here. So a, a custom tag uh, to remove. And then we've got these two boxes that work together here, which are basically the same. If you find any of these words or phrases in uh, my title or description, then I want you to replace them with one of these words. The idea being that we're trying to replace these product specific terms with generic terms such as design, graphic, print or product. Uh, again, you can add something in here. If you have all illustrations and you don't want these other things, you could just put an illustration in there and you can get rid of print. Uh, you're not going to break anything by removing these and you don't have to use these you can remove all of them if you wanted to uh, but these are just the defaults that we've found has been pretty successful in removing the kind of the products like t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies and different phrases like that and replacing them with something generic all right so what we would expect to see is this give blood and play rugby funny t-shirt title would be replaced with give blood and play rugby funny design or funny graphic and then as you go through here when we've got t-shirt again it would cycle through and change that for design graphic product or illustration so it's going to be easier to just demo this and show it working in action than try and explain it any further i think so i'm just going to hit save on here and we'll see our listings over here in merch wizard so you've got a couple of options for pushing to orbit kit you can push them one at a time so I'm going to hit select on here and we've got a new rocket icon on here. So I'm going to push that and to success. We can then open that design in Orbit Kit and see that it's gone over. So obviously it's got a grey background there and it's transparent PNG, that's fine. So we can see that our t shirt has been changed for design and we've got the other words coming into there. We've got graphic and we've got illustration. Uh, buy this design now, you know, rather than buy this t-shirt now. So all that's working. And of course, our tags have made it over as well from the final keyword section. And so you don't need that final keywords, but it will pick up uh, from tags if there isn't a final keyword section. All right, so let's push some more now. So if I go back 
to the base. We'll see now we've got an OrbitKit rocket and uh, indicators to say that it's already been uploaded to OrbitKit. But the other thing you can do instead of just pushing in a single where you see that you've already pushed it if it's orange uh, in a single fashion, you can push it in a batch. So I have to go now and tick those boxes and say push to orbit kit. It takes us to another screen. It's going to push each of these over in uh, in bulk. Now I'd expect it to give us a, an error to say, hey, you've already pushed that because I have the setting on to say um, don't overwrite that. Uh, if you've already got an existing one on there. So yeah, there's our already pushed to orbit kit and here's our other three being pushed over and you can see them uh, dripping in basically as they go across. So uh, you can push hundreds at a time. That shouldn't be a problem and uh, just a really easy way to get your designs over to orbit kit. So you can open these individually just by clicking on the link or you can open all of the ones that you've pushed over. So let's have a look at those. So yeah, those are looking good. The text has been replaced and let's say it's completely configurable as to how, how you deal with your text replacements and uh, how you want that to work. Final thing to note, I guess, is that we provide a little note here to say it was pushed from Merch Wizard. Uh, there's a record ID on Airtable if you need to tie that up and the ASIN it was originally pushed from. And we'll be able to see all those in our designs folder there. So. Next step would be to set the archetype on these and set them going over to the particular venues that you've you've got assigned for that archetype and uh, and just sit back and, and watch them go up. So I hope you can see the huge potential that you've got there to combine Merch Wizard and OrbitKit. Obviously it's going to be taking all your designs and your listing data that you've got in Merch by Amazon and repurposing that and spreading that out to all the different print-on-demand platforms that you've got available for you in OrbitKit. So uh, yeah, it's definitely the most efficient way to leverage your kind of existing designs and your existing listing data and to get that out to all these different platforms and to start seeing them selling on all these other products and other platforms in a lot of different countries. It's very satisfying and personally I've been using OrbitKit for four or five months now. I think it's fantastic. I think the guys do a great job in supporting the community there and adding new venues and adding new functionality to make it even easier. So I can't recommend OrbitKit enough. I would certainly do that first month's trial, see how you get on and hopefully you'll see the power of the integration and you'll be able to take it from there and I think it more than pays for itself. I don't think it's much per month compared to having to upload the designs yourself and fiddle about with them or employ a VA to do it. So finally we'll be having a Merch Wizard and OrbitKit webinar on Sunday 10th of March. And you can see the times in front of you, it's uh, 8 o'clock p.m. in the UK or uh, the equivalent in your time zone in the US. I think just be mindful that the clocks are going forward I believe in the US on Sunday, uh, on Sunday morning so you just want to double check the timing on that. And yeah it'll be myself and Jeff and maybe a couple of members from each team and we'll be uh, just running through, Jeff will be running through the Orbit Kit side of things and giving you a, an overview on the platform and I'll be running through the Merch Wizard integration and We'll be hanging around for any questions you guys might have. You can be interactive uh, Q&A at the end. So yeah, it should hopefully last uh, no longer than an hour. And uh, hopefully we'll see you there. So look out for more details in the group on that. And finally, finally, we will be releasing the update with the Orbit Kit integration work in it and the automatic background sync on Sunday. So sorry it's been a bit of a lengthy video but I hope you like what you see and that you're going to give OrbitKit a try. I think it's a bargain price to try out OrbitKit for a month for that price and see what you think of the platform. I think you'll absolutely love it so just go ahead and give it a go. Okay, cheers for now.